Here's a few tips when you've got a satellite imagery layer like this in QGIS. If you check the description, there's a video which shows you how to get this into QGIS if you don't already know how. So if I double click the layer, I will get the layer properties and in Symbology, I can do things like this. I can tick invert colors and click apply. I could colorize it. I can use the default, I'll click apply, but then I can change the color to green and hit okay. So if you think something like that's interesting, but it's a bit too strong, you could double click again and take the strength of the colorization down and hit apply. So you can get loads of interesting effects this way. Let me zoom into the Faroe Islands for a bit more of a close up. I'll double click it again and we can change other things here. Let's take the brightness down to darken it a little bit. Not the opposite effect because we're inverting it. So let me uninvert it. There we go. So the darkness is all the way down. I can change the gamma. I can change the saturation down or up. And sometimes you do this and it gets all messy. If you can click the little X's, that will basically reset everything and undo that. You could also just hit the reset button to put everything back to normal and then hit apply. So there are quite a lot of options there for doing things. I'll double click the layer again. And what I can do is I could change it to, uh, to grayscale. And there's three options, but let's just choose the first by lightness and hit OK. If I zoom out to the whole layer and I decide I want to maybe blend some other colors with it. Another thing you could do is if you hit the toolbox button to open the processing toolbox and you type in the word extent, you can extract the layer extent, which will put a vector layer over this. So I'll double click and I'm not going to save this to a new layer. I could if I wanted to, but for now I'm demonstrating. So I'll just hit run and then close. I'll double click on this layer and let me expand this. I'll go to symbology and in layer rendering, I'm going to choose the blending mode for the layer to be multiply and then I'll hit apply or I could choose burn or other methods. Let me choose dodge and then yeah, again, you can change the strength. So there's a variety of different things you can do with this in the layer itself for the satellite imagery layer or by adding a layer over the top and you do that by adding layers extent so some of this can just be for artistic purposes some of it can be for maybe some kind of analytical purpose and if i go back to the layer extent here one other useful thing you can do is if i double click this and change it from simple fill to gradient fill let me change the color ramp to something a little bit wild. Cividus and hit apply. You can get some interesting effect. And if I change the rotation there to 90 degrees and I will change the layer rendering, the opacity and hit OK. So that's just a little bit of experimentation, a few ideas for the kinds of things you can do. Some of them will be useful, some of them will just be for artistic fun and effects.